In this video, I'm going to discuss five myths about Etsy that are not true. If you're new to this channel, my name is George McConnell, and I made over a million dollars on Etsy last year. So the biggest myth out there, number one, is it takes 60 to 90 days for Etsy to recognize you as a shop and get you into the algorithm. That is not true. Their system runs continuously every day, going through and scrolling through new shops, new items, things like that. So if your SEO is not on point and you're not using keywords that will get you noticed, that's why you're not seeing your shop or that's why your shop's not getting the amount of views or traffic that you, you know, should be getting. You need to really concentrate on those long keywords and the long tail keywords will get you recognized more than the short ones. Because when you're using a short keyword, you're being put into an oversaturated market and you're probably not going to be recognized. But if you're more specific on what your product is and keep, you know, key to that product, that's how you're going to get recognized. And you could be recognized within days, not months. Myth number two is that there's a certain amount of items that you should have on your store and every single week you should be launching new items. This is half true. Now, when you're starting a new shop, you should have a game plan. You should have an exact amount of number of items that you want to put online. And that is not one or two items and then add two more each week, so on. And the reason being is because when somebody goes to your shop and they're only seeing you know two, three, four, five items, it really doesn't look like a shop. It looks more like an eBay store. So you want to have that game plan of, hey, you know, I can make a hundred items or I can make 50 items or 20 items, whatever it is, however many you can have and upload them all at once. You do not need to upload them each and every single week. That's just going to slow down your actual sales. You want to get them all out right then and there. So when somebody goes to your store, they see that store, they see everything you're selling and they know, Hey, these are all the items I could choose from. Now, as you grow, you can add more, but it's not necessary to add them each and every single week. So just a quick side note, I have one store that has thousands of items and another store that literally has 35 items. Day one, 35 items, boom, on there, right? The other one that has thousands, it did take time to build. Now, if I would have started that 35 item store with just one item and then added each one each week, it would have never got the recognition it's gotten. So just keep that in mind. Myth number three, you're never going to get recognized because most markets are oversaturated. That's not true. You still can expand in oversaturated markets. This goes back to that first myth that it takes time to get recognized. It really doesn't take time and it doesn't take time for you to stand out. You just have to be SEO specific. You have to have long tail keywords that are specific to your products. If you're showing you know, a custom shirt and you type in custom shirt, you're competing against 1.4 million listings. But if you have a custom shirt for golden retrievers or custom mugs for golden retrievers, as I showed in a previous video, you're only competing against 4,000 listings. That's a huge difference. 1.4, 4,000. Myth number four, you need to have a banner and an about section in order for Etsy to see you as a completed store. This is not true. I do not have an about section. I do not have a banner. Most consumers that shop on Etsy are using the mobile app. And you can go into the statistics and see how many people are using the mobile versus the website. And if you have more people using mobile, that banner is so small on that mobile application that it doesn't really even do justice anyway. So you need to see that as something that's important to you. And if you feel it is, then add it, but it's not really necessary. In addition to that, a lot of people say, your brand is everything on Etsy. Now, this is a hit or miss. Uh, it really depends on your consumers. If you have a lot of customers coming back to you, then yes, you know your brand, they will say, hey, I shop at you know XYZ or I shop with ABC. But in the world of regular consumers and one-off purchases, when you ask somebody, and I know everybody's asked somebody, hey, where did you get that from? They never reply, oh, I got this from this shop on Etsy. They just say, I got this on Etsy. So just keep that in mind that your banner and your about section is not what determines how people shop with you. 
it's really the other things that I've listed in other videos, which is your photos, your niche, especially your customer service. Nobody really goes there to your shop and goes, oh wow, this shop has such an amazing banner. It makes me want to shop with them. That's not the case. Myth number five, ads are bad. They are not bad. Your SEO is possibly bad. So in order to run ads effectively, you need to make sure that the consumers coming to your shop are specifically looking for those items. If you have keywords that are so out there, when you run an ad, they're going everywhere. So of course you're not going to receive the sales that you're looking for. In addition to that, when I scroll online and I look on Facebook or Reddit and things like that, a lot of people, they say, oh, well, I spent $1 a day or I spent $5 a day and I'm not getting results. I want you to picture it this way. You have $1 and you put that $1 in your gas tank. You slap a sticker on your car and you drive till that $1 of gas is gone. Were you recognized by a ton of people? Did you really get far with $1 of gas? No. And that's how you have to look at ads. You can be the best company out there with the best product and the best customer service, but if nobody knows you exist, you just disappear because nobody sees you. Nobody's just gonna find you and know that you have just started your business. Ads is how you get recognized, but you need to make sure that your SEO is on point and the keywords are grabbing the customers that you need and that are specific to the product that you're selling. Because if your SEO and your keywords are all over the place, you're getting eyes from everywhere, but you're not getting that person that's looking for your product. I hope that this video helped you with a lot of myths that are out there and circulating around online. And if I miss something, please leave me a comment below so I can touch base on that on the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to helping you.